going on guys? Our next project in the garage today is going to be changing out the interior and exterior light bulbs on the first gen. So I bought a whole bunch of bulbs to replace all of the incandescents. I'm changing them out to LED bulbs. So I've got enough for all the exterior bulbs minus the headlights for now. I've got tail lights, brake lights, bulbs for the license plate bulb, the cargo light bulb, all of the um, cab light bulbs, the marker lights, turn signals, um, what else? And on the interior I've already done my um, gauges in green. And I've got one for the map light and the interior dome light. And I think I got one for the glove box as well. And that should be most of the bulbs. So we'll do some before and afters to see how the uh, LEDs look compared to the incandescents. Okay, here's just a quick shot of all of the bulbs that I got. I got the bulbs from superbrightleds.com and um, I might have got one too many, but I have these red ones, those are for the brake lights. Probably have white for the reverse lights around here. And then amber for the signal lights and turn signals for the marker lights. And then also two flashers for, these are LED flashers for the, to replace the regular flashers because LEDs have less of a draw. So if you don't change up the flashers, they'll flash more quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna do the turn signal light bulbs first. Here's just a quick shot of the before, before we change out the bulbs. Here's an after shot with just the passenger side changed out. As you can see, it looks much brighter. I'm already very happy with that. I already changed out the uh, clearance lights as well. They're pretty bright, so I'll change out the other one. And then I'll go and do the marker lights on the side and we'll see what they look like. Here's a before of the brakes. Okay, hit it. And let it off. Here's a shot of the reverse lights. Let's take it out of reverse. Okay, and now the driver's side is LED and the passenger side is incandescent. You can't tell so much on the camera, but it's a pretty big difference in person. Here's the LEDs installed on the interior, the dome light and the map light. I noticed that these lights, they would get very, very hot before. And now, they don't get hot at all. Here's before of the cargo light. So here are the type of bulbs that go on the cargo light um, to replace the bulbs. I got the wrong one. This is what I got because I thought that was the right type of bulb to get. But it's actually, they have these type of bases on them. So I'm going to have to order another set of these with the right base. And that was the last set of lights that I'll change out. I'm also, after switching to LEDs, currently having a little bit of an issue with the turn signals and hazards. So, um, these two black ones I bought from superbrightleds.com um, to solve that the problem of hyper flashing or, um, or not flashing at all. But I'm having an issue with these 
where when I turn on my hazards, they'll just turn on and stay on. Same with my blinkers. When I turn this on, um, I go left blinker, it'll just stay on. Same with my right blinker. So, I'm thinking that I might have gotten the wrong polarity um, flasher. So I'm going to do a quick test and change the wiring around to have one going to the different leg on the, these are two prong flashers and I'll change the legs and see if that works because they were selling two different types on that website so I might have gotten the wrong kind. So I'll test that and report back. Okay, so I've made some progress here and what I'm doing is I'm testing since these flashers are polar sensitive and I messed up and bought the wrong one. Um, took two wires and some alligator clips connected them to the terminals on this. So the, there's a B and an L on there. And the B means to the battery and then L is supposed to mean to the load. So I got the wrong ones. So I just switched the, the wires to the terminals. And this is for my blinker flasher. So now it's flashing. Check on the inside. Those are flashing now. And these are flashing now. So my hazards will still be staying solid because I just have it plugged in normally. Yeah. So what I'm gonna have to do then is go on the back of here and switch those terminals around um, so because it's polar sensitive so that that'll probably solve my problem hopefully those, those are easy to switch around okay so i figured out how to interchange these without having to cut any wires or solder any, solder any wires and first you take a very small screwdriver and these two um, tan plastic pieces right there by my thumb. They need to come out first. You push them out from the back with a very um, small screwdriver from there, the, the slots, and they pull right out. And then after that, there's a small little retaining clip that you need to pull back with a very tiny screwdriver just in between the metal and the plastic there. And then once that's out, you can simply pull those straight back these two clips and then you reverse them and then slide them in they'll clip right in and then you put those plastic pieces back in and now I can put the flasher in and it should work so I've got that new flasher in and now I can test out my blinkers there's left and there's right perfect now, I just need to do the hazard at the top. That's the hazards. That's the horn relay. Don't need to touch that. So I'll reverse that around and then I should be good to go. You still have your owner's manual. Just a quick tip that shows you where all your fuses are and what your different relays are and um, what all the amp um, fuses are and what they work or what part they work. And I found another good tool in the owner's manual here is uh, when you're replacing all the light bulbs on the inside and out, it tells you the bulb number for reference if you're looking for LED light bulbs so you don't need to, so you don't guess the wrong one. But I guess the cargo lamp that I had must have been wrong for some reason. Where is it? Um, Rear cargo light, 922, unless I ordered the wrong one by accident. So that's just a little tip for that. The owner's manual. I actually got this on Gino's garage because I didn't have one. They make reproduction ones. Okay, I got that other flasher unit in there. So that wraps up everything on the 
inside and the outside. I'll do a quick test of my flashers. And show everything on the exterior is flashing. Got the front. Man, those are so cool. <laughs> so bright. And then my tail lights are flashing for the hazards. Good, good. Now I'll turn on all the running lights. So we can take a look at those. So there we go, here's my setup on the inside. Got all my green LEDs for the dash lights. And now we can check out my running lights on the exterior. Okay, now I just noticed a problem. These uh, seem pretty dim. So I gotta check that out. Um, cab lights are nice and bright. Running lights here are good. I'm gonna change up my license plate bulbs as well. Those are nice and bright. So I just need to now figure out what's going on with these front marker lights. I wonder why those are so dim. Okay, so the issue I was having was the side marker light. Um, when my running lights were on, they would be dim and they would not flash with the hazards or turn signals. So the solution after much hemming and hawing and searching on the internet um, is and it's not a complete, completely perfect solution, but it is a workable solution, is to buy these um, five pin relays. Got this at Princess Auto. It's got its own built-in harness. That's the relay and built-in harness. Is to hook it up and when I turn the, just turn the lights on on the truck, I have it wired up so that my marker light will go on with the running lights. And then when I turn my blinkers or hazards on, it will blink, not at the same time. And I, I'm not sure if that's the way they're designed anyways, but they go opposite of each other when the blinker or hazards on. And then that's just with my running lights on. But when the running lights are off, it won't blink with the um, the turn signal up front. I mean, it does a little bit the way I have it hooked up, but that's not to its full brightness. The way I have it hooked up is with uh, the ground or the, uh, the second wire from the light going to uh, back to the turn signal ground. So I'll show you a detailed uh, <coughs> way I have the relay hooked up if you want to use this as your solution to the uh, marker light not flashing with the front turn signal. So here's just a short clip showing um, somewhat the wiring diagram of what I've done. Um, here's the marker light and let's say the positive and negative on the marker light. And here's your relay and then here's your sources of wires. Um, this plug is supposed to be on the back of the uh, the turn signal, here's the factory wiring diagram. Um, it's supposed to be this plug. And the black and yellow wire I have going to pin 30 on the relay. And then the light green wire I have going to 86. Pin 85 is going to be going to a good ground. And then pin 87A is going to be going to the positive on the marker light. And then what I have hooked up on the truck that I just showed in that video is this ground instead of going to a good ground I have it hooked up back to the um, where the light green was coming from because in that circuit there's a built-in good ground and that's how I was getting that the light flash like the the dim flash um, so I might hook it up that way but if you hook it up to a good ground instead you won't get that tiny little flash um, so that's that hooked up okay so here is now after the relay has been installed on this side um, just a quick demonstration of what it looks like 
uh, with the lights off and the lights on at that marker light. So first we'll do um, hazards with the running lights off. So as you can see here, just like shown before, it's not super bright, but it still does give off a little light for the hazard or the blinker. And then when we turn the running lights on, it blinks brightly with the hazard light. So now we'll just have to wire up the other side and then it should be uh, good to go. Okay, here's the final video showing all of the uh, marker lights blinking and the turn signals blinking. Show the back. And then when we put the running lights off, we still have a light strobe on the on the side markers the way we have wired it. So it still does work. Just very quickly. <laughs> on this side. Lights off. Cool. Okay, so that concludes this um, incandescent to LED swap. Everything except for the headlights. If you were to get headlights, there most of them are plug and play for LEDs. Um, but this is the hardest part of doing the full LED conversion. So if you're looking to go from incandescents to LEDs, this is how you do it, and hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.